Hi guys, I'm Laura Metalli, and on this episode of Laura in the Kitchen, I want to show you how to make a fabulous, easy, delicious, and addictive buffalo shrimp. Now, I think you're going to absolutely love the rest this recipe if you love anything buffalo like we do in our family. And whether it's a game night, which we love to do, like poker night here, um, you're watching a game of some sort, you're watching movies, whatever. You just want something fun to snack on and pick at. This has got to be on the menu because it's just that delicious. So I'm gonna show you the list of ingredients, which is really not that big, but it's all the right ones. I've got milk, eggs, and a sprinkle of salt in this bowl, which is it's just a shallow pie, pie dish, but I love to use that for batters. I've got some cornmeal, Creole seasoning, you could do Obey seasoning or any seafood seasoning you like. I also have some dry chives, granulated garlic and onion, and a little bit of paprika. That's all in here. And then over here, I've got some flour with a little bit more of the Creole seasoning, but you can use any seasoning you want. So now that everything is pretty much seasoned and ready, because this is gonna be your breading station, right? So I'm just gonna mix together the cornmeal with the seasonings, because you want every layer of your breading to be seasoned. Otherwise, you're gonna bite into some, and some parts are gonna be bland, and you don't want that. So that's done. Mix your flour with the seasoning, and now you're gonna just switch to the eggs. And I'm just gonna whisk together the eggs and the milk until well incorporated. And then as any dredging goes, it's flour, wet, dry. So it'll be flour, egg, cornmeal, and then I'm gonna place the, sh the shrimp on a clean plate. And I'm gonna let those sit for a good 10 minutes. I really wanna make sure that the cornmeal adheres to the shrimp nicely, otherwise it's all gonna fall right in you know, into the oil and not stick to the shrimp that, way, that well. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'll show you how to do one. Hold the tail. The shrimp have been peeled and deveined. You just sort of hold it. You do that. And then you just, you just use the tail really as like tongs, if you will. And then in your cornmeal. And I don't worry about making the coating too, too thick because the cornmeal gets it really nice and crispy and therefore I just don't feel like I have to go to the extra mile. And if you get shrimp, like I said, that have already been deveined and peeled but the tail left on, it does all the work for you. Well, all the work for you has been done and you just enjoy the process of dredging and then frying. Shrimp have been resting for a bit. The cornmeal is adhered to the shrimp really nicely. I'm gonna pop them into some really hot oil. Now, I was already frying something else earlier um, and the oil was clean, so I don't have to change it. But if you don't even wanna bother frying, then you can go ahead and pop these in a really hot oven. Just make sure that you spray them with some, uh, some olive oil spray or like some vegetable spray of some sort. Uh, just to make sure they're getting nice and crispy. Or you can do them in your air fryer if you want to. But I just have the oil right here and they come out best when they're freshly fried. So we don't fry often. So I just took the plunge and went for it. I'm gonna just cook these in batches. They only take a couple minutes to cook and then we'll show you the next step. Taking the last batch out. Really lovely and crispy. Now let me walk you through what I did here, just because I didn't want to, didn't want to take too much of your time since it's not something that needs that much explaining. All I did was I took some regular hot sauce, and I took it. I did equal parts hot sauce and butter, and I placed it in a small saucepan, and I just put it on the stove and just brought it to a boil just long enough for the butter to melt. And then what you'll do is you'll whisk it really, really nicely. And this is gonna be the buffalo sauce that you drizzle all over the top. And I know it sounds crazy to do equal parts, and if you don't wanna do that much butter, you can by all means just do half butter to hot sauce, but I'm telling you, it is perfection on every level. And these shrimps, as my father would say, as Papa Sal would say, are so crispy, they're so delicious, you cannot even imagine. And if you don't even wanna bother with the hot sauce mixture, you don't have to, but it really just, it just puts them over the top. It really does. And I love anything buffalo. So for me, it's an absolute must have. And what I do is I just take a little bit of the hot sauce mixture and I just drizzle that over the top and then serve the rest on the side. Because you know what? I like for people to make their own decision in terms of how hot, spicy they want it. But man, let me just tell you, this is a money maker. And then I love, I'm having a slight obsession with dry chives at the moment, so I sprinkle some on top and the heat of 
the hot sauce and then the heat of the shrimp kind of wakes it up a little bit, it's perfection. I'm gonna go in for this one right here because I, mm, perfectly cooked, perfect. It's crunchy, it's flavorful, the hot sauce is money. It's a perfect party food, especially if you're not entertaining a big crowd. You can just fry up a batch of these, sit down, relax, have fun, dig in, perfect. Laura in the kitchen.com has got the recipe waiting for you. I hope you enjoyed spending time with me, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.